get excited about uh, what's going to release next. It's an art form. It's a beautiful art form. We're very privileged to be part of it. वो audience को मजबूर करेगी एक stand लेने के लिए. The first half of the promo. You, your heart goes out to the victim. कोई director नहीं है जो doesn't want to be known to have made dangal or to have made uh, three idiots. The moment you come to know that uh, Akshay Khanna is uh, appearing in any movie, the excitement levels uh, just go up by many notches because uh, whatever he does, there's a huge amount of energy that he brings to the table, and uh, that's the case uh, every single time. Pleasure having you back on Bollywood Angama. Thank you. Where do you get this this energy? Because uh, whenever your movie comes, there is this this level of excitement in your body language, in whatever you do, in your smile, in everything that you do. That is something something totally different. But every time I select a movie, I'm very energized because of it, and I think that reflects in when I start promoting it. Get excited about uh, what's going to release next, and I am very passionate about. What I do, I I I give a lot of energy to my work. Then, खत्म हो जाता है शूटिंग का तो, I feel drained. I feel as though I have no energy left now. I need to go home and go to sleep. ऐसा महसूस होता है मुझे अक्सर. What do movies and uh, filmmaking means to you? What does it mean to me? It's an art form. It's a beautiful art form, and uh, we're very privileged to be part of it for so many years. And uh, it's an art form that's powerful. or uh, like section 375 is a topic uh, which is sensitive topic is topic ke bare mein pad sakte hain newspapers mein books uh, you watch programs on television par jab aap is topic pe ek film dekhte hain to uska impact bahut zyada hota hai to ye art form jo hai film making ka wo bahut uh, impactful hai isliye shayad Uh, people are so attracted to it, and it's a very popular art form. So, when it comes to Section 375, what was in the script that really appealed to you? The thing that appealed to me the most is film. एक moral stand नहीं लेती है. वो audience को मजबूर करेगी एक stand लेने के लिए. Which is quite unique in terms of when you're making a film on law or some aspect of law, the misuse of a law. so when you deal with these kind of topics generally the film will take a stand but this film doesn't take a stand it shows you ki kya ho raha hai aur jo moral stand hai ya jo bhi stand hai aap le lo so that i found very interesting and uh, i think audiences also would prefer not to be told something ki ye sahi hai ye galat hai they like to make their own decisions especially the younger people i thought the character was great uh it was very layered it was not uh, it was not kind of one facet it had multiple layers to it the story had multiple layers to it so it was not just a courtroom drama about a single case it makes you think about other things bigger things the bigger picture The interesting part of the promo is that uh, it's very journalistic, as you said that it's not taking a stand. Um, the moment you hear what uh, Meera Chopra is saying that she is a victim, um, supposedly, and uh, what she is saying that uh, when she is asked that uh, ejaculation hua tha and she says that usse usse pehle kya mar drukte hain kya, it seems convincing. And then when you are saying that maybe you are misusing the law that was supposed to protect you, that seems convincing as well. So it's The audience is in uh, two minds. Okay, that what exactly is the is the movie going to be all about? And that makes it curious for us. So, to like watch many it. people who have seen the promo have, and have spoken to me about it, they say the first half of the promo, you your heart goes out to the victim. J. And as the promo starts coming towards the end, you start questioning it. Yeah, exactly. Which is a good thing because that's what the film is about. You are presented with certain facts in the beginning of the film, and then the rest of the film is. Debating those facts, are they actually facts? Are they lies? What is the truth? So the promo reflects. That. The director is Ajay Behl. I think a very interesting personality himself. I think it's always interesting when you're having a maker uh, who's not really keen on uh, being known as a super hit filmmaker and then the maker of falafala hit films. Rather, he's more keen on telling a story. He's willing to 
go the, go through the grind he is willing to take chances he is willing to go through the failure as well when work is not coming his way that's what ajay has, has been through um working with someone like a like director nahi hai jo does not to be known to have made dangal or to have made uh, three idiots or to have made uri every director wants that i think there have been a few scripts of his and he did not compromise if you read about him that that's what I, when i read about him uh when i read about him i, I just came to know that uh, there are certain compromises that he was not willing to make maybe that few other filmmakers may have done that in the past but he he stuck to his guns and maybe i think he refused a few films because of that as well i'm saying from that perspective that someone who believes in the in the storytelling and what he wants to say the way he wants to say it i've worked with many filmmakers uh in the past but what you're saying is is very true that he has a very uh strong vision i know you must be hearing this from all maybe probably all the actors that you interview it is something that actors will always talk about because when you have a director who has a very clear vision and who's not willing to uh you know be overpowered by anybody else whether it's me as an actor whether it's a producer whether it's anybody who is very satisfied and comfortable with his vision and therefore sticks with it so yes he has that quality in him which is extremely important for a director and uh, i don't know exactly about what choices he has made in the past what films he has refused what he has accepted but i'm sure now having known him quite well i'm sure that would be the case because he's someone who has i think a very clear idea about what he wants to do and what he doesn't want to do how much work he wants to do when he wants to work when he doesn't want to work yeah, exactly. he's very comfortable with that and it's very similar to the character that i'm playing in section 375 a lot of people the majority of society uh, whether they're expressing their views on television or on twitter or whichever platform they're against this lawyer but he's okay with that you know he says what i'm doing is is correct yeah and in spite of the fact that the ink is thrown on his face yeah. and uh, there there is resistance that what are you doing exactly but he even from his own family his, from from his own family he sticks to the guns so as far as ajay is concerned he did be a pass the movie did well it was critically acclaimed he was offered similar sort of films he did not do them so i'm saying from that perspective he has taken a bit of time after be a pass as well